So, Angela, which book are we going to discuss tonight, or are we just discussing your career? He said you've got quite a fascinating one. Yeah, well, actually, I am a self-published author. Um, mm -hmm. I have been self-published now for about three years. Mm -hmm. um, I write mostly children's stuff. Um, mm -hmm. And let's see. Um, I mean, even when I was a teenager, I always enjoyed writing stories mm -hmm. just for fun. Yeah. But in 2021, I have decided to just um, get started in the self-publishing industry. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. actually, my parents and I became Catholic in 2012. Um, mm -hmm. And we were Protestants. Um, mm -hmm. My father was a Protestant minister um, at a very small um, Protestant church. Um, and so I was a pastor's daughter. Um, mm -hmm. And we lived in the same town for about 18 years. Mm -hmm. And then we moved away to Minnesota. And then we are actually back in the same area. Kind of close to the same area where I grew up. Mm hmm Okay. That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> you see all your school friends and everything, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, some of them have moved, moved away, of course. Sure. Mm -hmm. So, but right. sometimes I can still keep up with them, like, through email and stuff, so. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. yeah. I, uh, I was born in Providence, Rhode Island. And I often think I'd like to go back and just, you know, see how it has changed. I'm only three hours or four hours from it, but it just seems like four hours of driving and I'm just going to drive around the city. I don't think anyone I knew was would still be there. Uh -huh. you know, I, uh, I'm 70. I'm going to be 74. So a lot of my classmates have probably passed on to then reward. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> so, yeah. But uh, it was it was an interesting place to grow up. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's funny how we move away, but that still remains home. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, so, what made you get into self publishing? Well, um, that's kind of an interesting story. Um, of course, I was very new to the whole writing industry. Um, and I was just trying to figure out what to do. Um, I actually went to a writing conference, um, early on in the early 2000s. Um, and so that was my first experience with going to a writing conference and just trying to interact with different people there. Um, and then... I was actually writing a story then about my disability. I have um, mild cerebral palsy, and it affects my speech and the, my left side. Um, and so I was actually writing a story um, that was for my little niece, um, and I was explaining to her what it was like about having the disability. Mm -hmm. um, and I got in touch with some other people um, on the internet and just trying to figure out like which freelance editors I should be working with um, mm -hmm. yeah, in that nature. And I actually found one who is a really um, good freelance editor and she has helped me out with my stories. Um, so I'm really thankful for that. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, you, your case of, uh, I don't know about these things really, but I can understand everything you're saying. So, oh, good. yeah. So I, you know, it must be a mild, uh, hopefully a mild case because I, I do on yeah. that. Every word. Yeah. yeah. Well, actually, I have 
I had speech surgery in 2014. Um, mm -hmm. So it was a surgery that was in the throat area to try to help with the clarity of the words and everything. Mm -hmm. So, Well, it worked. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> yeah, right. hear it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, yeah. So um, how many books have you written now? Well, actually, I have some um, chapter books as well as, well, lately I've been just writing short stories. Mm -hmm. um, some of them are more for older teenagers, like 16 to 18 years old. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> I write memoir. Um, Fun. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So that's how I got into writing, but um, mm -hmm. but yeah. So it's uh, it's an interesting industry, you know. It is, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah. So, um, which writing conference was it that you went to first? Um, I mean, that was. Before I found out about um, a Catholic writing conference, mm -hmm. it was a Protestant writing conference. But um, yeah, it was still very helpful. And yes. so, I mean, yeah, um, but I was still very new to the Catholic world and, and everything. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, we actually. So I did have the church um, during the Easter vigil in 2012. So my parents and I, yeah, we came to the, um at the Easter mass. Mm -hmm. um, and we had our sponsors there. And so, yeah, it was mm -hmm. a really interesting experience. And uh, mm -hmm. it was good, yeah. It, Mm -hmm. experience for us and actually it was my dad who decided to have the early on but it took my mom and I a while to get used mm -hmm. to it so yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah I'm a convert also I converted I think I was I think I was 38 years old so it was a long time ago yeah, yeah. it's uh it's a good religion I'll tell you it's it's it is. all encompassing, you know. Mm -hmm. So I really yeah. enjoy Catholic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, do you write every day, or? Um, not really. No, I mean, I write when I'm inspired about certain things, but sometimes I take a break and. Um, I mean, actually, I am studying a uh, second language right now. So oh. I'm, yeah, so I'm just practicing writing in another language for fun. Yeah, for fun. God bless you. <laughs> you know, I tried to study other languages and it didn't end well. <laughs> <laughs> so I cannot imagine trying to write something in one of those languages for fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that's great. Uh, but I bet yeah. that's a good way to learn it too, though. You know. Yeah, so. it is. Um, I also started learning French last year, um, and so I, that's the second language that I am working on right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I'm trying to speak it, but it's a little <laughs> difficult yeah. at times. Mm -hmm, so. mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's understandable. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, you know, it's. I think it's so much easier if you go uh, to the land where they all speak that language and you don't know it, mm -hmm. then, then you're going to have to yeah. pick it up. So, yes, <laughs> definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I, um, I st I've studied Latin, Hebrew, French and Spanish, and boy, I'll tell you, I'm not fluent in any of them. 
Yeah. So, I mean, I would love to be fluent in one of them. <laughs> yeah. yeah but, really. I mean, yeah. So. I think if you learn when you're very young, it probably helps. But I was already mm -hmm. in. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, so tell me about uh, one of your stories. Well, um, I wrote a children's picture book that's about saying to us the little flower. Um, actually, she was the first half of saying that really um, inherits me early on in my journey. Mm -hmm. um, and I was just blown away by um, her story and there's actually a video that we have that relates to her life and it is a very good movie very mm -hmm. well done it was mm -hmm. made in the early 2000s but I felt like it's very accurate and, mm -hmm. oh. so yeah. yeah it was just really good um, mm -hmm. and Actually, she's one of my patron saints. <laughs> oh, okay. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so, so you wrote about her? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I wrote about her. And actually, I was 24 years old when my parents and I became after it. So when I found out that she died at, at, at the age of 24 years old, I thought that was interesting. Yeah. Um, at least at the age yeah. category yeah. there. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree. That's young. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's really young to die. But... It is, yeah. Yeah. But see that behind a, a very interesting, you know, story for other people to read. And, um, mm -hmm. and I actually illustrated some pictures um, mm -hmm. that relate to the story as well that's so, nice yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah so good mm -hmm. and um what did you write after that well i've been writing mainly about um the medieval time period like castles and knights, mm -hmm. lords and ladies. I've mm -hmm. always been fascinated with that time period. Yeah. So it's it's fictional, but it still would have different characters that are made up. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, um, one of the new books that I have written about for children. Um, is actually about a knight and mm -hmm. he wants to get married and so he eventually does. He finds a young lady um, and they eventually get married. So mm -hmm. um, yeah, <laughs> that's one of the recent stories that I've written. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. Good imagination. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I think you have to have imagination when you write stories like that. All I have to do is remember. <laughs> you know, because it's like, okay, I remember that. And then I can write it down. But uh, to imagine something, that's that's really a wonderful gift. Yeah, you know? sometimes, though, the imagination can become too vivid. <laughs> oh. Too real. <laughs> that uh, yeah, yeah. I understand. Mm -hmm. But no, that's that's. Uh, it sounds like you've really found a a good little vocation there. You know that you can uh -huh. build on. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah, and I have actually written some articles as well. Mm -hmm. um, and so um, that is fun. And I have written actually some articles about how I became Catholic. Um, mm -hmm. Just sharing my experience there. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it was interesting writing about my journey like that, um, especially not early on, but it was kind of after that. that yeah. 
when you've actually been on the journey for a while so that you can mm -hmm. recount it. Sure. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, that, it does make sense. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's interesting how many converts there are. There are, yeah. And mm -hmm. how they are still coming. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I never, I was never unhappy with my decision. I've always been happy as a Catholic. But, uh, you know, I, I, it's encouraging when you see how many people come to the faith. You know, they find it somehow. Who knows how, you know, they find it and yeah. uh, and they fall in love with it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's, it's really something special. Mm-hmm. It is, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um... You're going to write uh, more short stories now, or are you going to uh, move on to another uh, longer project? Um, maybe not a longer project. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, but anyway, yeah, um, I am. Uh, I might be working on some more future short stories. Um, mm -hmm. I've been mainly getting into the mystery area, mm -hmm. just trying to write mysteries and things of that nature. So, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. I mean, I I do take breaks um, from writing, um, but sometimes I would go back to the computer and, and write mm -hmm. more and mm -hmm. so yeah. um yeah I've been mainly using Amazon right now mm -hmm. um on their platform. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Um Good. and actually there is another Angela Lotto that has a couple of things on there, but that's not me. <laughs> um, so, mm -hmm. so you use your middle name too. That way, they know who they're getting. Um, no, but I just want to let people know about. It. <laughs> um, so yeah. that they won't be abused. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Oh. Wow, how weird is that? That you'd have two people with the same name writing. I know. <laughs> yeah, that's just so interesting. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. Mm -hmm. So it's uh it's a good it's a good way to express express yourself and it's you know, I find that uh I'll write something and then I have to go back and edit it about thirty times. <laughs> but um but in the end I'm happy with the product, you know. So Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I still, I still have to go back and make changes and <laughs> sure. yeah, yeah, make sure that's good and stuff. And sometimes I would have like three or four different versions of a story. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that would that would be interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it was like three or it was three or four stories. Until the end, and then they all ended differently. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I have to try to fiddle out, like which version do I like the best um, mm -hmm. when it comes to the self-publishing part. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's good. Mm -hmm. But it seems like you've got to act together. You yeah. Know, yeah. I. Uh, I still uh, struggle a little bit with, with getting stuff out, but mm -hmm. of course I have a full-time job, so that uh, does take the time, <laughs> so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, 
So it's really, you know, you're very, uh, very fortunate that you have that much imagination and you, and yet you have the skills to use different, uh, different ways of getting things out there like Amazon, you know, that's great. Yeah. Well, actually, yeah. Um, I actually had someone help me out with that early mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. And then I eventually learned how to use it after mm -hmm. that in terms mm -hmm. of like putting things up and, and stuff. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, as long as you learned it, that's great. You know, yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I still am trying to figure things out, like how to use it and stuff, but. Mm -hmm. Um, when it comes to like, should I add this part in the story or should I, you know, put another part in the story? But yeah. that's where sometimes it's it can be very helpful to have a freelance editor, mm -hmm. um, you know, like make it look more professional that way. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, somebody who's an editor can really work wonders. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Still. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, gee, you know, I'm I'm really uh, I'm really happy to hear how well your career is coming. That's that's wonderful. Thank you know, you. a lot of people just struggle and they try to write and uh, never really do much. You know. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, when when I was growing up. I would always check out like the how to books about writing and mm -hmm. just try to mean like how to make a character real or try to make the uh, fictional story real. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Things like that. Yeah. And so sometimes they would have examples from movies or. Things like that. So, give you an idea how to do it. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yep. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's yeah. great. Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what else would you like to tell us? Um, I can't think of anything else. Oh. Um, <laughs> but, uh, let's see. Um, well, you must have a, website. Website. What? You have a website. You have a website? I don't, have, I don't have a website, but people can find me on Facebook. Okay. Um, and um, so, yeah, I mean, I used to have a website, but I'm not, like, really using it anymore. Um, mm -hmm. Probably because it's a little expensive for me. Okay. Okay. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm on Facebook. I uh, try to think of, um, so yeah, it's just, mm -hmm. um, I was on Instagram, but I felt like, um, I was being hacked into uh, oh. on my Instagram account. So mm -hmm. I got out of the account that I was using. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, I still have some other Instagram stuff, but I'm not really using it right now, but yeah. I'm just mainly using Facebook. Mm -hmm. so. yeah. mm -hmm. Well, well, that's that work. If it works, that's great. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I also like to knit and crochet. Oh, I love to crochet. Doily. I love doilies. Well, fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I had a shop on Etsy, and mm -hmm. so I used to like sell homemade items to people mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. on Etsy. Um, but yeah, I actually made a little doll blanket um, last year, mm -hmm. so that was fun. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I never learned how to knit. My mother tried to teach me, but I I'm not coordinated with both hands. Oh. So when you, say you just hold the thread with your left hand and you do the, all the work with your right hand. 
so that makes it better. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I also um, like crazy cults. I don't know if you know what those are. No, the I crazy, know. Yeah, uh, look them up. They're wonderful. It's called Crazy Quilt, and they are from. Uh, it's a pattern that came from the Victorian era, and okay. they are stunningly beautiful. Yeah. So, Actually, my um, my mom and I we made a lap quilt together, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that was fun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I still use it, <laughs> so it's nice to have those little hobbies. It is, it is, you know, and uh, not that you want to kill time, but I mean, you know, if you if you're just sitting there somewhere waiting for a train or a bus, why not? You know, <laughs> do something other than just sit there. You know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So that's uh, that's a commonality. Although I can't uh, I can't knit. Not coordinated enough to use both hands. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Love to do the crocheting. Mm -hmm. Crocheting is fun. Yeah. It is. And it's much quicker than knitting from what I've seen. It is. It's definitely faster, I think. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Depending on the project. <laughs> yeah. So. Mm hmm. So. Well, it seems like, uh, like you're in a good place. You've got a career. You've got some hobbies. You're. You're lucky. <laughs> so thank you. It, yeah, it's nice to to be able to keep busy and productive. You know, it is. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not much of a TV watcher. That's for sure. <laughs> I like to get done. So mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I mean, I still like to. I still like to watch some of the old TV shows, like mm -hmm. Dick Van Dyke or whatever. It's just, sure. yeah. yeah. Bonanza. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But um, even when I watch TV, which I rarely do, I do tend to do some crocheting while I'm sitting there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's fun to do something like that. Doing yeah. A television show. Yeah, yeah. I like the old town. There used to be funny. Yeah. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's fun. Mm -hmm. It's fun to watch the old classics. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh. Well, I want to thank you for talking to me and telling me about your work and your life it's it's interesting and uh i wish you a lot of luck with your writing you're welcome thank you mm -hmm. so the next time you write another book uh tell sebastian and he'll get in touch with me again all right thank you okay you take care thank you god bless you you too bye-bye thank you